We are back again, baby. Let's go. The beginning of preseason is here. So this is actually my second game. The first game, some, I fucked up one of the recording options. There was like no sound or whatever. So, and I'm actually glad. The first game I played, <laughs> so first I spent like five minutes in the spawn trying to decipher this shit right here. Um, so they do, they kind of change Spell Thief's edge. So you get what? A little bit more gold. It used to be 11. So now it's 15. So you bank a little bit more gold, but it doesn't have cooldown anymore. So it's a little bit of a problem. I should say it's a really big problem. It's a big fucking problem. Okay. Because I start dead man's. So already my first three items that I have, I have 0% cooldown other than the, the rune that I have. That's just 10. So it is a bitty, a pretty big problem, but there are good things. More gold. You don't have to upgrade that. I'm never going to get used to this shit. You don't have to upgrade the item anymore, which is huge. Okay, that saves me. It actually, I'll, I'll tell you, I set a record last game, but it, it's not fair because it's I don't have to spend as much gold. I actually had dead man. So my previous dead man's record was nine minutes and 55 seconds. Now, I don't know how that sounds to you. Go and play a couple games and you're going to say, how the fuck is that possible? Um, and last game I set it at 952, but I realized that I didn't have to spend 500 gold on this. So it's not fair, kind of, um, but I did have seven kills at nine minutes. Uh, I That's why I'm glad it recorded last game. It was, I went 10-1 in like 15. I ended the game in like 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so we're coming in this game. We're again, we're one and in the new, in the preseason, absolutely destroyed the enemy team. They, they, I, they, they didn't forfeit, but they kind of did. Uh, Olaf built six Doran's rings and just ran it down. It was kind of funny. Um, so we had a really good start. Another thing. So I really like this. Like I actually love that I don't, that I save what 500 and then what was the other upgrade? Like 650 or 850 or something. So I get a free fully upgraded this. Not having the cooldown really actually screws me. It's, it's a really big problem and I'll explain a little bit later. Um, but I do like that they added HP to it. 10 HP and then I think it's like 30 and then I think it goes up to 70. So that's 70 HP on an item that otherwise I was getting none from. I, I, Frostfang I had the whole game and I never got it, it had zero HP. So that's a bonus 70 HP, which is actually a pretty big deal when you when you consider all the um all the these stupid things that I have that all buff my my HP. Uh, it all builds in. So that 70 probably turns into 90 or 100 late game with with these boosts. Um, <clears throat> so I like that. Uh, what else? The so my after dead man's. Last game, dude, I sat and spawned for like three minutes. I was like, what do I actually build? Because I want movement speed. You, you don't want to not have another item that gives you movement speed. It feels like you're missing something, right? It's not even necessarily that ohm wreckers, that I miss ohm records. I miss having, oh, I do. But I miss having an item that gives me movement speed as my second item. Um, they should be dead. Yeah, we can just kill them. Um, this is 100% a kill, and he does that. And just go, get the ignite off. Yeah, okay. Um, so... It, it's, it was a little bit of a problem for me, but it turned into, it might turn into just literally increasing our win rate because let's be honest, uh, Ohm Wrecker doesn't have the best stats. It's what, 350 HP, pretty low. Um, you know, literally every other item I could build has higher HP, like 400, 450. And it has like a chunk of armor. I don't think it's a lot. It might be 50, which is a, it's a decent chunk, but it's not a crazy amount and that's it. I mean, it really, it, it has 10% uh, cooldown, which was coal. Um, and it has, uh, I kind of want a little bit more gold. Okay. 45 gold. I'm not going to use that. That's the, from 33 to 45. That's actually a big fucking deal. I, I'm so there's a, there's a couple things. Okay. That I'm not going to use that very quickly. Uh, oh shit. Um, so it, it took me a second to f figure out what I'm going to build, but here's the problem with spell thief, not giving me cooldown and ohm wrecker being gone. I'm suddenly shit for cooldown now. You know, I have to find, I'm going to wait for a, a pink ward here. I'm finally in a situation where, again, these three don't give me cooldown. So you know what that means. These three have to give me cooldown. So it, it's kind of interesting because I actually go probably the strongest item on Alistair uh, after Dead Man's, and that's a Abyssal. Like, let's be honest. You've seen how many games where I run out of mana in the middle of a team fight because I, I don't have built any mana items. I refuse to build something like, uh, like Iceborne because I need health. I need all my items to give me health because health is the most efficient at deflecting damage because it, because it doesn't matter who you're fighting. You, I'm fighting 
between a between ap and ad i'm switching it up so much that it would be stupid to go one that gives me just armor or one that gives me just magic resist <clears throat> so i really focus on building hp um so abyssal so good because it gives me a big chunk of hp big chunk of magic resist it gives me mana okay it gives me cooldown so mana's already huge that gives me mana. It gives me damage, a 15% increased AP damage, which is insane. And it does the heal for the damage I deal. It is, it is actually one of the most insane stat items ever. It gives me all these fucking stats. Okay, that's a kill. I don't think you, oh, I got you, bro. A level four Jarvan shows up in the junk. Like, what the fuck is that? Get, kill that dude. What the fuck was that? That was even worse. So, I think we should be okay. We should be able to kill him. Um, where the fuck would he have gone? Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? Boom and boom. Okay, we should be fine. I don't think he damaged me. Yeah, he didn't damage me. He did. He, like, I don't know what the fuck he did. Wow. Okay. Um, so, which is really awesome, dude. So, we get to we get to go Abyssal, which in our last build, just the way it panned out, I had to build Abyssal as my sixth item to replace the Spell Thief 10% cooldown. So I guess when you think about it, Spell Thief not having the 10% means I just keep it. I don't have to get rid of it. Well, I will get rid of it at the end of the game, but I don't have to replace it with a cooldown item. So I'm able to build Abyssal second, which is arguably the most powerful item on Alistair. And you felt it last game. You felt the fucking impact that I was having last game. I was really dominating. Um, so we go Abyssal second, and then it. we still need... Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Did they? Wait. No, they didn't. Hold on. I, I did not even notice this. Did they bring back old Spell Thief? Did I just deal? Did I just get three stacks of Spell Thief not near an ally? That's going to be... That's going to be... It just, oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, I do need a little bit of help. Okay. I should still be fine. Still good. Okay, nice. Um... Like, can we hold on a second here? Did I, I, I'm convinced that that just happened. I'm pretty sure that I just, let's just kill him. I, I, I literally don't care. Let's kill this dude. Boom, baby. Oh, there we go. Let's get some stacks, baby. Let's go. So let's go test this out. Well, I, it's hard to test out. I need to find someone away from my team. If they reverted that, you don't understand how big of a deal. I, that almost like, even thinking about how frustrated I was with that, I almost quit playing League. Spell Thief went from, you could proc this 45 gold or whatever it was at anywhere on the map. It, you didn't need to be near teammates to just randomly, oh, you had to be near teammates, right? I guess it was to nerf uh, when it was top, when people started building it top. We're going to find out right here, I think. more. I hope more just fucking slows down a little bit. Let's see if it works. If I get 45 gold here, uh, it's the best change that's ever happened. They actually changed it. Are you kidding me? Dude. They actually changed it. I'm the. Ha this is the best patch I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit! Come on, dude. Where are you going, bro? I ain't done with you. I ain't done. Get another. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, boom, baby. You're like, oh, you try to run from me, the beast? Come on, dude. Boom, baby. Give me another. Can we stacking motherfuckers up in here, dude? I, I'm, I'm like so excited. I can't even fucking contain myself. They brought back old fucking spell yo who's this dude come here motherfucker i want some give me some stacks boom boom look at this 15 gold generation yo i'm going in no 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 lee lee i need your assistance i'm going in motherfucker come on dude stack boom what the fuck was that i gotta calm down here i'm gonna get banned um i, I actually can't believe they brought it back you don't understand dude that came out of nowhere I didn't see any mention of them. I knew they were going to change, get rid of Ancient Coin. I saw they were going to make four items. I didn't see anything with them reverting Spell Thief. They increased it from 11 to 15. Oh, but they keep it at 15 even at the upgraded version, I think. Do they? Let's see. Does it stay 15? Where does it say? Yeah, it stays at 15. Oh, shit. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, I, I am so fucking distracted by how good my fucking Spell Thief is. So, they... Oh. Do you don't understand how big that is. There's certain people are going to be so excited about that. I guess if you sit in lane sucking your 80s toes, you're not going to even notice. But if you're a roamer, that is such a big deal. When you get when you catch the enemy jungler, you don't understand. Not only do I get my gold, 
not only did I not get gold from it when I was not near teammates, it didn't apply the the the, the stats. Like it wouldn't apply the 15 bonus. Or what damaging spells it didn't apply whatever bonus damage I was getting. This is I think I can just kill them. I'm pretty sure I can just kill them. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna okay. Wait, okay. Boom, boom. Okay. We're gonna walk into the edge. Oh, I fucked up a little bit. Well, not really. I'm still gonna kill him. But okay, I don't know where he's gonna like what wait, why don't I have a team here? What? Oh, he's just, I think he just died. What? Wait, why don't I have a team? What? What? Does she have... She's just standing there? Did you watch that? Wait, was she actually just, like, standing right here? Like, why not? Why aren't you getting involved? I, I, at least I got this. That's... That is honestly... I would say that's pretty close to... That's worse than a flash. That Or the more significant than a flash. That's, like, a really big thing. I, and I wasn't even gonna kill him. I don't think my W was powerful enough. No, I think he would've survived. Um... But, yeah, like... I'm actually really excited now. It, just little things like that alone make this such a big deal. Um, so, yeah, we go Dead Man's Abyssal. I'm really excited. Let's see what we can... We can actually talk about the game a little bit more now. So, we, we need the stack on Vladimir. It looks like Fizz is doing really good against him. Uh, we're going to try to get something here. He's probably going to pull, but we're still going to get gold, which is completely fine. Boom, boom, and get the W off. It, it, dude, that gold, that 45 gold is going to be... Oh my gosh, is this so fun getting gold when I don't have to be near my allies? Holy, because that's my whole playstyle. Going off and doing stupid shit. This is such a big buff for me. Dude, I'm 100% hitting Challenger. There's absolute. Oh shit, that might be a kill. Um, okay, he's. I think he just dies. Okay, I think that's a kill. Uh, fizz, Fizz, Fizz. We got the stack. That's okay. We got the Vladimir stack. Um, dude, I'm, I'm freaking hyped up, dude. Holy shit. So, we are definitely going to feel the Ohm Wrecker loss. You, you don't understand. I, last game when I hit I hit Dead Man's, I hit 900 gold, and my brain's just going, oh, Raptor's Cloak, we're going to go build Raptor's Cloak, and it just, like, hit me. Like, holy shit. Like, I'm going to lose that sensation of, like, pathing down lanes, getting that huge movement speed buff. I should be able to just kill Ezreal, especially with that 45. Oh, my gosh. Um, but, yeah, I, I, probably an overall big buff to us. Um... You're gonna get that tower, but you are going to die. You can shoot me all you want. Boom. Um, okay. And boom. Wait, who is that a TP? What the heck? Boom. Uh, boom. All you can see, you can all you can do whatever you want, and it's dead. Um, dude, I just I can't wait. I can't wait to see how impactful this is. I get to build a better starting item second. I get more gold from Spell Thief. Um, I don't, I, I, my build is honestly just better. I, I love that I'm going Abyssal second because it's always been this thing where my, my previous build was just too OP and I couldn't build anything else. It, it reached a point where the only time I would, I would go rot if they were heavy AP, but that was it. I, I couldn't really change my build because it was too powerful. Let's go, let's go in this. Let's, let's pick these guys up. Let, let me get a little bit of mana here. This can be a, a big fucking battle. Okay. Cloud wins. Okay. So does that help both teams or is that like... I don't really know. Boom. Pick up another 45 gold. Okay. Boom. That's another kill. Okay. Uh, you, you should ult in. You should ult in. She, I think she has ult. Okay. Never mind. Ah, uh, we might be able to still... I think I'm going to flash for that. Once my W comes up, or my uh, Q comes up, I'm, I'm going to flash 100% for that. Uh, 145. Should I? Yeah. yeah. Boom. And you should be able to kill that. No? Okay. That's okay. Are you going to ult? Are you going to try to ult? Wait, how did I die? Oh, he ulted. Oh my gosh, that was pretty nice, but no one's paying attention. Fit, fit. Okay, she ults in. That should 100% be a kill. Okay, I hope I, I think I got an assist for that. Uh, Jarvan ults in. We got Kaisa going down. We got Fizz wandering the fuck around. I don't know what the hell he was doing that. Pull engage. I don't think he did anything. And then we get to go straight into... Oh, it feels so nice to build because usually I have to build that chunk of armor, which feels awkward for a little bit because I like HP. Since we're going Abyssal, we can build the um, whatever that stupid item's called where it's just a big chunk of health and mana. That's, that has to be... Oh my gosh, you fucking murdered him. Holy shit. We're really strong in this game. I should probably just go solo kill Vigor, right? But I'll, I guess I'll pick up 45 gold here. Oh, he's wandering through the jungle. Uh, that's 15, 30, and I'm out later. Just had to pick up a little gold stack real quick. Don't mind me. So what's this? They get it on their side of the map. Holy shit, I'm fast as hell, dude. I wonder if Vigor's gonna wander in here. Vigor, come on in, baby. You got level seven Vigor. Just wandering around, dude. This dude is toast. Watch this, watch this, watch this. What? That's one combination. Okay. Boom. Okay. Boom. Ignite down. Auto attack. Okay. He's like really fucking. Okay. He just suicides. Okay. He literally. What the fuck? 
Okay. Oh, shit. We got the whole squad coming in. Boom! We flash away! No way! Oh, shit! Oh, fucking ignited me, dude! We base mode! We even dodged the Ezreal! Holy shit, that's what I like to see. You see this dude, we're walking into the enemy jungle, killing their little weak ass level seven support, still getting away. They had to flash ignite to get me. Absolute fucking beast mode, Alistair. And then I love that I get to build a Bissell here. You don't understand how big this is. Like you don't fucking get it, dude. Okay, do you understand how much better this item is than Ownwrecker? Same amount of health. 300 mana that increases my mana by over 33 percent like that's insane okay that's a whole chunk of mana it's magic resist i think it's the same as armor which is fine and then th the passive is honestly way better i lose a little bit of movement speed for co two combative stats which is objectively better like i'm so fucking pumped up okay we're going in we're 100 diving i'm 100 diving let's fuck these motherfuckers up focus ezreal okay She's gonna run into the cove, and that means. Wait, where the fuck is Ezreal gonna go? It fucking just goes down. Okay, just slaughtered. We somehow picked you. Jarvan, you ain't going anywhere. I'm telling you right now, you ain't going anywhere. My movement speed is un fucking match go up that way i don't need anybody look at this level nine dude i'm gonna base stuff i look at this move jarvin you can't outrun me bro i don't need no backup i'm smacking this dude up 45 gold boom baby look at that damage i don't even take any damage yo kill this dude let's kill this guy i think he's still sitting here is he jarvin you still here bro that's what i thought you better go back to base you little Okay, let's go check out what's going on down here. And I love that I get the second quest. Or did I finish it? Holy shit, I already finished it. Wait, 150 HP and 60 ability power? Wait a second. That seems fucking beastified. Yo, yo, yo. Who is this dude? Yo, what the f That's That's triple CC. Did he really just let me triple CC? He's just dead. Okay. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, auto attack. Okay, I'm still completely fine. Uh, he might go in. That's a dead Vlad. Oh gosh, I just died somehow. I don't even know how I should have ulted sooner. That's a that's one for one. That's completely fine with me. I get ulted, so Fizz is, or what's his name's ult down. Ezreal does have ultimate. You're probably dead. That was awful. That was really bad. And then he flashes for it. Who is, who is surrendering? Who the fuck is this? It, level 10, 110 far. Yo, can you like wander off somewhere, bro? I, I just, I'm not interested in seeing your vote. What a game. This is what I'm talking about, dude. I'm so pumped up. This could be the best season ever. Every season, it just gets better. Anyone who, oh, we, you know, I remember season five. Shut the fuck up. This, it just gets better and better. More change is better. More pathing, more options that you have is better. Okay? This is such an upgrade for the support. It's insane. Okay? I'm going to slaughter this dude. Is he actually here? Like, yo, get off my screen. Who are these people? Slaughter. Look at this. Boom, baby. You still got CC. I'm actually getting smacked up here. Yo, 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 yo. Get, I'm about to smack someone. Dude, I'm going to murder someone. Like, get kid. That better kill at least one. Who's over here? Who the heck is over here? Boom. Get a double CC. Okay, my Q wasn't up. Let's kill it. Okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, Vladimir? Um, definitely kill Vladimir. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, we're just going to kind of sit here. <laughs> kind of hold, kind of place hold for uh, Mord. Okay, we, we saved Mord a little bit. Okay. Hey, come for me. Yeah, come on. Come on, Jarvin. You better come for me, bro. Come, let's go in there. Get in. Mord. Mord is still alive somehow. I'm fucking beast mode tanking for Mord. I'm taking on the whole existence of humankind. Mordekaiser comes out. He smacks flat up. He comes out fine because I'm tanking. Every Did you see? Like, I'm not just inting. I'm saying, okay, if I if I just leave Mord here, uh, you can see the highlights of where they are. If I leave Mord here, I don't even know if he kills Vlad. Vlad might be able to, to kite long enough to get away and then Mord dies. I'm saying no. I'm going to give Mord all the time in the world. Even if he has to kill him after his ult ends, I'm sitting there. I'm tanking enemy champions. I'm distracting them. I I'm blocking their brainwaves from planning what they're going to do for Vlad because they're so worried about this fucking beast, Alistair. I'm destroying this game. I'm carrying this fucking hard. My Mord's ahead. My Lee Sin's ahead. My Fizz is ahead. Our Kai'Sa is doing fine. Okay, I love these new animations too. It looks so much cooler than the stupid circle. Okay, so we got to pick up level 10 here. So I, I, this is the only time you're going to see me mid lane fucking around is I got to pick up a, a quick level or two. Or, okay, like what is this? What What are you doing? Like, I just feel, I always feel so weird. Like what? what is this? Where, why, why are they able to do this? Where's my team at? What, ha, uh, Kaisa's farming, what? what is this they just they literally like they could go barren like 
They could literally just go Baron. They just walked down mid lane and killed me. No one's gonna check Baron. You have to be just so bad at League of Legends. Look, look at this. No one's, they're not even worried about it. They're not even checking. Their entire team is missing. Kaisa's not even gonna check. Dude, you have, just check, just, okay, they actually, they, that was the most free Baron I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you see how, how there was just complete reason to believe they were Baron and Kaisa just refused to do anything? She was just backing and she's like, oh wait, there actually is a lot of things going on. I'm gonna go check it out. Like, holy shit, that's Baron, that's Baron, go Baron, go Baron. If she, like, look at this team. Go to the Baron. Kaisa. Oh my gosh, the things that I want to say to this Kaisa. Just do the Baron. It's okay. I know you're bad. I know that you don't want to go Baron literally because I'm pinging it. But you have to set aside what frustrates you and do what you have to do to fucking win. Okay, you're just dead. <laughs> you're, oh, what the fuck? How did he just dodge that? I still want to fucking kill this dude. I just don't get how that just happened. Okay, so if we hit the W sideways, okay, we run into the wall, okay, we ignite him, he's just 100% dead, and we get the Q, and he's gonna knock us up, and we, he's still dead, he's still dead, yep. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just walk it off. Sorry, bro, not interested in your drama story, Jarvan. I'm actually a level higher than you. I would be careful, Jarvan. I would be careful. Oh my gosh, I almost dodged it. Did you see that? W, if I would've backed up quick enough, I would've been able to dodge that. Oh, it tilts me that that was actually dodgeable. Like, that was... Oh, I could have made that play. I definitely could have made that play. This is how you win games, okay? You literally tell... You're pretty much communicate to the enemy support. Hey, Vigor. If you appear on my screen, it doesn't matter if Jarvan helps you. It doesn't matter if Ezreal helps you. You are dead, okay? I'm, I'm a tank support. And yet, if you appear on my screen, you're dead. Like, that is the goal. You want to communicate... Oh, that was fucking awful. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and then this is nice. So now I get to go War Mug. So we get the Kindle Gem. Kindle Gem's a really nice item to build. It's it's HP cooldown. It's such a nice, perfect fit. So we'll go War Mugs. War Mugs is great because you go Giant Spell or Kindle Gem Giant Spell, and then you after you finish War Mugs, you go Kindle Gem for Spirit Passage. That's pretty much the new build. Not crazy different. Um, build order pretty different. And then, uh, whoa, 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 that's gonna be a free. I wonder which direction they're gonna go. Let's try to see. Okay, they dodged that way. Okay, but I don't think you had to flash. Okay, people get really excited when they're fucking engaging. Let's go ahead and uh, help Lee Sin with farming that a little bit. What's up, Lee Sin? Just helping you out a little bit. No, no problem at all. We got Mordekaiser, level 15, running it down mid lane. I don't think anyone wants to get in this dude's fucking way. Let's go. Oh, shit, we got a, a fight going on here. Yo, yo, Renekton, bro, that's my boy right there. You mind if I just smack you up a little bit? Sorry, dude, not interested. What's up? Yeah, hey, come on, come on, come on. You want some? Come on, I'm, I'm gonna back right here. Come on. You want some of this? Oh, oh, oh! We set him up for success! Boom, that's one step. Whoa, where's Mordekaiser? Where, where the heck? Am I winning this fight? Wait a second. I think I'm winning the fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get the W off before he roots us. Okay. Oh, a little bit of danger. Okay. So we're still fine, I think. Smack Vigor up. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Vigor. I, wait, Vigor, are you in danger? <laughs> Hold on, I, am I dead? Wait, am I dead? <laughs> like, what, like, look at his HP. If I actually probably could have killed him. If I if I was more mechanical, I'd probably just kill Vigor in the 1v2. But sorry, Vigor, I was fighting your top, your level 14 top laner for like two minutes there before you showed up. <laughs> this is just great, dude. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. I wonder what I will do if I do get against like full AD. Because it used to be the dream. Because you go Omrak or Deadman's to start. Now it's more, I'm kind of more ape or uh, magic resist oriented, so I don't know. Like, I could go, I guess I could go Iceborne, which would then allow me to build like a Sunfire, like something like that, you know what I mean? So it'd pretty much get rid of Abyssal, Abyssal Spirit Visage for like Iceborne, uh, Sunfire, Thorn Mail, something like that. So. That would be fun, honestly. I, I I used to really love going full armor. Again, that was oh, record. I'm I'm gonna miss that item for forever. I, I really still can't believe. I hope by the next season they realize that they need a fucking spit. Yo, look at kill these guys. Like, what is this? Murder that dude. He's dead. That's two kills. Are you walking at me? Yo, come here, bro. Yeah, what's up? Who else is here? Who else? Boom. Who the? Wait, what the fuck? Yo, nah, I ain't done here. Boom. What the? Whoa, whoa, I might die here. Oh shit. Wait, how did Mordekaiser not kill? He couldn't kill. He didn't even Zanya's in the 
all? I'm like a little bit confused here. Mordecai's are all to did he flash this wall? Mordecai's are all to Vigor and what didn't kill him. And Vigor still had Zanyas after all of that. So I don't maybe he flashed a wall or something. Yeah, that was really stupid. You can never be within range of uh, uh, Ezreal like that. Um, so Ezreal is just doing way fucking more than Kaisa, it feels like. Yeah, I, I mean, just absolutely dominating. That's going to be a free kill on Vigor. We got Lee trying to get away, but Ezreal is just... Oh, shit. He got... He had all... He just didn't do anything. Um, completely fine still. I, I just don't get why everyone's so fractured. Like, you see me engaging, and then you see everyone else... Like, like Fizz showed up literally after everything had already occurred. Okay, so we're gonna try to get to, again. Oh my gosh, I didn't get my 45 gold there. Oh, okay. I have ultimate. Uh, if Kaiso wants to do anything, okay. We'll see if Kaiso. Kaiso goes in after. Okay, we're gonna alt here. Boom. Okay. We might be able to get a kill. Oh, if I would, if I could have got my full, I had aftershock. I don't know why my everything got canceled. If I would have got my Q off for aftershock and ignited, I think I could have killed. Maybe not. They. I don't know how they still have so much HP. I mean, Kaiso's doing some damage. It just feels like Ezreal's like a hundred times better. But again, we have so much more impact than Vigor, we should be fine. Like, you can see the Mordekaiser stats, you can see the Lee Sin stats, you can see the Fist stats. This should, the only reason we're losing any fights is because, oh, Alistair engages. Fizz says, I'm gonna grab, I don't, I don't know, a jungle camp real quick. Like, if we actually 5v5, the game's over, and I wish I could type. But unfortunately, if I type even a fucking word, everyone gets triggered and reports me. So I can't even say, hey, friendly, great team. Um, let's 5v5. Oh, fucking report this. Talks it. Like, it just, that's what it turns into. So I can't even say, let's 5v5, but I'm going in. We're, we're going in again. We are probably, oh, we were going to flash there. Wait, how am I? I don't understand. Where the fuck is Ezreal at? Ezreal's right here. We, we should focus the Ezreal. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't believe I didn't pick up the kill there. Um, I think Renekton just ints. Renekton just fucking ints? Like, Okay. Okay, ignite the Renekton. Okay, we get we get the Q on two. Renekton is ignited. This should be a free kill. We get some wards down. We're gonna get we're gonna get uh, a Vla a W on Vladimir. And where is the team? We got. Have, there's no one did anything. I've never seen anything like that. Okay, they picked up one. Kaisa's kiting really well here. They actually turned that around, like like pretty well. Um, but it just felt like what like how are we even losing fights in the first place? She's actually doing really well in these. In the ending part of these fights, I don't even understand what's happening. She she pulls up three kills out of nowhere. It was a 4v2. She picks up four fucking kills. Are you kidding me? A 4v2 situation. And she picks up a fucking quadra kill. Take back... I gotta plug this fucking light back in. Take back anything I said. I, I, you know what I think the fucking case is here? She's she fucking she's trolling me in team fights, and then she says, "Okay, now that it's two v four, I'm gonna pull off a quadra." She pulls off the Lisa. You did okay. That was some of the best Kaisa kiting I've ever seen in my fucking life, and I've been, I've played with, with masters players. Okay, that was some of the best kiting ever. Holy shit! That just won us the game. Oh, who the fuck is it? Yo, wait, did I not just get 15 gold? Hold on a second. Wait a fucking second here. I'm telling you, I didn't get gold right there. Wait. You lose the gold active? Wait a sec, or not the gold active. Yeah, you lose it. Wait, this is bullshit. I don't want this item anymore if it doesn't get me gold. I'm selling this item, dude. Are you serious? I was so hyped up and now it's just shit. Now everything's just garbage. Why does that, why is that a thing? Oh shit, we got a big battle going on here. Dude, you guys, you literally, where's my squad? I got you, I got you, you guys, you guys got my back, right? You guys got my back? Come on, baby. You guys got me? Let's go. Oh shit, we got Vladimir ulting in. Oh shit, I'm getting fucking massacred and everyone's focusing me. You guys, this is what I'm talking about. Kaisa, 2v4, pulls off four kills. Lee Sin, Lee Sin, are you going to do anything? Look at the fucking Lee Sin. What the fuck? He, he gets the combination off on the Ezreal. They pick up the Renekton. Lee Sin does have Guardian Angel. Kaisa Olsen! 1v4! She kills fucking everyone! And that is game over for the enemy team. Matt Mordekaiser pulls out a Caitlyn ult. He fucking Zanyas. Jarvan jumps to his death. That is GG. Well played. We are out of here. GG. Well played.
we are out of this, baby. That's two victories in the preseason. We are officially undefeated in the preseason. We're going to get our MMR all jacked up, so when we start next season, we'll start in fucking plat one. I think that's the highest you can start. What a freaking game, dude. That's one of the biggest character arcs I've ever seen in my entire life. Kaisa from complete troll garbage trash to one of the best ADCs I've ever seen in my entire life. That is a victory. Let's go, baby. GG players, you should have said. Fucking 2019, come on. What a freaking game, dude. That's what we like to see. I... What a good start today. I mean, that's it. Um, we're gonna be tuning the fuck out. And, uh... Yeah. We're gonna try... Oh! Uh, kind of a, a little bit of an announcement. Um, tonight I will be uploading my first... And you can see, I'll show you the last game real quick here. Uh, I'll be uploading uh, a poker video. Um, yeah, so... Uh, it'll be like a really fucking long video. I'll probably play for like six or seven hours, uh, and you can check it out. It, uh, it's very similar to League, actually. It's very, very similar. The, the, and this is the last game. The, the connections between League and Poker are, are almost, I don't want to say, or oops, that was the wrong thing to fucking post. Not identical. They're very similar. Um, it's why, uh, I love both. So I'll be uploading a video. It's going to be similar to League. It's not going to be... The, the visual effects aren't as exciting, but I'll be narrating just as much. There's just as much... There's maybe even more strategy involved. Um, a lot of crazy shit. A lot of bluffing and stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely check that out tonight. And, uh, yeah, the climb continues, baby. We 2-0 preseason. Let's go.